All right, let's get right into this video, okay? Because my hair right now <laughs> looks a hot mess. I know, I know, I know. This is seven, day seven of my wash and go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Princess Renny here and whoa, my hair looks crazy. We're gonna get to that in a second, but if you are new, make sure that you go down below and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell button so you're always notified whenever I post a new video. Yeah, so this is day seven of my wash and go that I did last week and look, it is still defined for the most part. Still got a lot of curls up in here. It's just too much flakes and my scalp is actually starting to itch because it's super dry. So I need to do something about this. Like I cannot leave my hair like this. Like. It's not okay. So two products that I'm going to be trying today. Um, it's my actual first time trying the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. And this is a very small sample size. So I really hope that it actually works at least for my scalp. So it can be cleansed. But yeah, that's what it looks like. It's super small. But um, I hope it's good. Ah, I can't spill any of it. Ooh, smells really good. It has like a minty kind of scent. I don't know, but I'm excited to try it. I'm gonna go wash my, wet my hair in the shower, and then I'm gonna come back and apply it and show you guys and let you guys know what I think about it. Ooh. So this is my hair, fresh out the shower. I washed it out as much as I can with just water because like I like to, you know, get in there and cleanse it as much as I can with water so I can use less shampoo. The shampoos are, you know, drying for the most part. So the less of it that you need to use, the better it is for your hair. So this is what we're working with, y'all. It's still a little dirty. Well, not a little. It's still dirty. But we still, we work with it, we work with it, it's okay. So, <laughs> y'all pray for me, cause this little thing, it's like the size of my nose. <laughs> that is so random. But yeah, I'm gonna try to make sure I use all of it. Try to get it back in there. So, I'm just gonna take like this much. It smells really good, y'all. Yeah. Really, really good. Just gonna rub it in with my fingers. I'll probably end up using the whole thing. I'm gonna get the front area. Ooh, it actually suds up. I'm surprised. <laughs> I am actually impressed right now. Look at that. It actually suds up. Ooh, this is genius, yo. All right, so this is gonna last me more than just one use. Just be very careful. Cause right now my hair is very watery and I don't want this in my face because that's just gonna burn. So we're gonna go to the back and rub it in. And I try to get the scalp first. It's a scalp renewal, scalp, scalp revival, something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, I just go into the scalp area to area. Alright. And I'm still taking the same amount, like this much, every time. And I'm just like rubbing it together and rubbing it in the section. Thank God that was just water that spilled into by my eye. Alright, so I have the perimeter coated. Now we're gonna move in towards the different sections. So, go right here. And you can tell, because you're looking at where it's setting up. And keep in mind that I'm only massaging my scalp. I am not rubbing my hair all together. I'm going in with my fingertips, going to the scalp, and then bringing my hair back down, because I'm not trying to create any more tangles than my hair most likely already has from the wash and go. And if it doesn't really have tangles, even better for me. But don't make your life harder. And this is literally what I do throughout the process. Whenever I'm rinsing out 
um, products for my hair with just water when I'm putting in my shampoo and also when I'm rinsing out my shampoo. This is what I do. Just like this, make sure you get all over. And then I do that because I wanna make sure every part of my hair is removing the products. So I'm gonna turn around so you guys can see what I'm working with too. It's a lot, it's a lot of hair. <laughs> This is where the finger, the fingertips. I'm not using my nail. I'm going in, right here, for instance, and I'm just using my fingertips. So you want to let them spread out like this. And they just naturally do it. And then. Just to make sure that you have it all over. I'm gonna check in. This part usually gets missed. So you wanna just rub it on here. Go in, make sure you get it all over. And then obviously when you're washing your hair and you're doing this throughout, the shampoo is going to those sections as well. So. Just keep doing that. And I like to take my time because I only use shampoo once. There's no reason that you're repeating that process if you have it all over. And my hair comes out squeaky clean if the product is good. Remember, this is my first time using this, so I have no idea how this is gonna come out. But it's pretty good for the most part. Wow, look at these curls still flourishing. <laughs> I don't know, my curls is popping right now. They's popping. All right, I don't know what's going on here. But it's okay, it's okay. We're gonna go rinse it out, and I'll be right back. Hasta la vista. Y'all like my gray hair? Yeah, look at that gray hair. I had to do my eyebrows, so don't judge me, but. Look at that curly hair, yosh, yosh. <laughs> Yo. All right, let me stop. But I only use about half of it, so I can get another shampoo and process here. Maybe I might use the Briogeo uh, deep conditioner and see if that actually works for my hair, and see if it fits. It goes all over. Who knows? We'll see. <laughs> I don't. I really don't know. We'll definitely just have to wait and see. I just did my hair forward or rinsed it out and I just kind of like push my head back to put everything and let it fall it's falling pretty nicely but my hair feels so dry it still has the curls which is awesome I love it I love when shampoo do not take out all my curls but like my hair feels really 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 dry and the only way I could describe it is like you know when you used to get a perm and they just finished like rinsing out the um, relaxer out of your hair and then it's like they can't really do anything to your hair because if they try to detangle it it will start knotting and it might come out in clumps like how dry your hair is so like that's how my hair feels like it's wet but dry at the same time like the water is just sitting on top but like to the oh my gosh oh my gosh my hair feels so dry <laughs> so I changed my mind I'm actually gonna be using the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. And I'm using this mainly because hair felt so dry that I'm like, yo, y'all need to fix this. Like, my hair feels dry, and maybe that's how the product is supposed to be working. And like, if that's the case, then they need to, like, they need to fix my hair. Like, if this product is meant to repair the dryness of the shampoo, then 
I'm gonna let it do just that, like repair this dryness because my hair feels really dry. And I underestimated the shampoo. I thought it wouldn't like be able to cover my entire head of hair. So I'm like, I'm hoping I'm underestimating this deep conditioner and that it's able to cover my entire head of hair. Cause even though my hair is thick, it's not that long. So here's me hoping and praying that it works. So you guys know the drill when it comes to deep conditioning your hair and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and try to put it on all the different sections. Um, let me get some hair clips. This is the consistency, by the way. It's like, more like the watery side of things. Very watery. But I'm just gonna take like this much and then just keep building as I go. So I'm gonna rub it all together. Oh wow. It smells good though. It has, um, I don't even know, it smells like a cucumber. It doesn't even tell you what the ingredients are, but it has a few like good smelling. It's good. It's not like perfect. Like you know, it's a no. What's that word? Ideal acquired taste. Or scent. Well, you do not need a lot. Wow, this just might work for my entire hair. <laughs> Yo, this is tricking me right now. I don't know about the detangling part of it, but we're getting somewhere. All right, I can kind of detangle with it, but not like fully. My hair is still pretty tangled right now. <laughs> oh no. Let's see. Let me do it. Oh, <gasps> no, it's not helping me detangle my hair properly. It feels like it's sudding like a shampoo. My deep conditioner should not be sudding like a shampoo, y'all. What is this? I am so confused. My deep conditioner is like sunny. That's very, very weird and not okay. It's really weird. All right, let's go to this section right here. I don't know, this is very weird. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. Yeah, no, this is not it. This ain't it. I was gonna deep, do a deep conversations, 
but this is torture like the process is supposed to be really nice and you know i'm actually deep conditioning right here i'm detangling it easily this is not making the process easy at all i think i'm gonna have to detangle my hair um even after i finish rinsing this out but i could be underestimating it we don't know I'm just uh, <laughs> i'm just not a fan of this right now This is what my hair is looking like as soon as I just take, took it out, rinsed, 
all the conditioner out. My hair feels so soft, so nice. And my scalp is super clean. Right here was itching earlier. Look at how clean my scalp is. Oh my gosh. Let me take a random part. Y'all see that? Super clean. And it feels so soft. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. So, right now I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my hair a bit. And then I'm gonna do this cute hairstyle that I saw on Zora from Greenleaf. It's like a side swoop with the rest of the hair up. I'm gonna go ahead and try out that hairstyle. And then, yeah, I'm excited. I may or may not record it. We'll see how the hairstyle comes out. If I really like how it comes out, then maybe one day I'll like redo it and record it for you guys. But this is it. The product, I give it a thumbs up. The shampoo, um, I don't really like it. The deep conditioner, I underestimated it. A little goes a long way. It does set up in a really weird way, but I feel like that also helps it because it's like thinner, so it goes into my thick strands easily. It's just so soft. I wish y'all could feel this. My hair is very, very soft. It doesn't feel as moisturized as most of my conditioners that I'm used to, but it's okay. My hair is clean, it's soft, I don't think I need to detangle it. Then again, I had a wash and go, my hair was already detangled. But, look at my fro, look at my fro though. <laughs> oh my gosh, my fro. I like it, I like it. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click on the bell button so you're always notified whenever I post a new video. And I will see you on the next one. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye, guys.